Hi guys, welcome back to Between Us Foos. It is Halloween and we are celebrating full on. <laughs> We're super excited to talk to you guys about our dance fears, um, what so share some of our scary stories pretty much and our fears in general. And also please remember to subscribe, comment, like. Between Us Foos, let's talk about it. Hi guys, welcome back to Between Us Foos. Happy Halloween! Hello, hello, it's the end of the month. Um, super excited. Um, we're gonna be talking about um, pretty much our dance fears and everything related to like just scary things that have happened to us in terms of our dance journeys. Maybe some things that have happened here <laughs> at the studio that have been pretty scary, but yeah, like that pretty much what we're gonna be talking about today. Um, but first of all, as you can see, like we're all dressed up as um, some of our favorite characters and stuff. So we're just basically gonna go down the line, uh, talk about um, what we're dressed up as. Yeah, let's start over there with Miss Kim. Oh. <laughs> um, so I'm a big fan of Hayao Miyazaki. So I love Totoro. So I am dressed up as May with Cat Bus. Hey. <laughs> and I'm Totoro. <laughs> <laughs> basically, you know, her neighbor Totoro. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'm dressed up as Steven Universe, if he was skinny and Filipino and had a beard. <laughs> um, but it's a Steven. great show, you guys should watch it. It's one of my top three favorite cartoons like of all time. So yes. You're Steven in the future. Uh, Ste oh, yeah, I know. I oh, know. Here we are. Sunburn. Okay. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm dressed up as Finn from Adventure Time. I freaking love that show. If you guys watch it, then you already know like it's not just like another Cartoon Network show, it gets pretty crazy, so. Yeah, and yeah. It, it's over now, too. No, <laughs> like, I'm so sad. And Cartoon Network theme. Ah, yes. And Studio Ghibli. Yep. <laughs> Just cartoons in general. <laughs> Cartoon is our theme today. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like, pretty much, let's first talk about, like, what we're scared of, right? Like, um, Halloween is about, you know, having fun, but still also kind of talking about our fears and stuff, mm -hmm. so. Um, what are you guys scared of in general, like in your life, in wherever? Um, I guess I'll start. Because <laughs> <laughs> mine's easy. I'm scared of the dark. Um, yeah, it's really hard for me to be in a pitch black room and stuff. Um, even, I mean, at n when I go to sleep, it's it's pretty bearable because there's usually some type of light, whether it's like coming from your computer or like your clock, you know. But like pitch blackness is like really scary to me. I think it's because like the fact that I can't see anything, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, so darkness and I mean, I'm scared of like <laughs> cockroaches, oh. like more than spiders. <laughs> it's not a feat, like a phobia, oh. but I'm just scared like I would never ne go near one. Freak so. you out. Hmm? They just freak you out. Yeah, they just freak me out. I used to have nightmares about them. About <laughs> yeah, oh when God. I was a kid. I don't mm. know why, but yeah, those are like my general fears. <laughs> I recently found out that cockroaches can fly. Oh, they Apparently, can. Yeah. It was they so, glide. They, they glide, glide they down glide. from the wall, and oh it's the God. scariest thing <laughs> ever. Dude. That's true. Like, uh, yeah, D yeah. I've seen all types, all sizes, and it's just yep. scary. Yeah, not a fan of any. Freaky. <laughs> In yeah, the Philippines, my... like cockroaches, like it's just <laughs> cockroaches, just pretty much. Sing about it. Yeah, sing about it. They pretty much just crawl on you. So I think. I, Ew. Oh, yeah. No. At one point, I was just kind of over it. I was like, okay, you just uh -uh. let them. Like, uh -uh. yeah, just let them. Yeah. At first, yeah, <laughs> I was there no. for like three weeks. So you know, it was damn. Like, so mm -mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I hate that. Um, anyone else with fears um, in general? Hmm. Scared of heights. You know, with my height, I mean, I'm pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, anything further than that, it's scary. I know, like, when I go to amusement parks, because I'm small statured, right? So it's scary, like, when you're putting on all the equipment. I'm always scared of, like, falling through the cracks oh or, like, God. it not being. Because, uh. like, I remember in Great America, they have that, like, boat. The pirate the boat. boat? Yeah, the pirate yeah. boat. That goes, I don't know if it goes all the way it up. It does. Like, it goes around. Yeah, so I remember I was in middle school, and I was hooked in. I remember at one point, we were getting close to, like, the top, and my shoulder, like, <gasps> oh, fell through. My God. And you could just see, like, right down there. And I was just like, okay. So every time, like, I go on um, 
I'm on amusement park rides, I'm always like trying to secure myself, right. <laughs> so I just feel safe. That's pretty scary. Mm -hmm. That's really really scary. That's why they have those height requirements, I guess. Have, yeah. <laughs> like, have you ever like you, you sneaking know, on kids? <laughs> Is that what's wrong? No, no. I've made it. I've made it most of the time. And if there are rides that like um, I'm scared of, usually I try to, you know, use that. I'm like, yeah, I'm too, I'm too tiny. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. What else? You know what's really scary? Sleep paralysis. Mm. Oh. Like night terrors and sleep paralysis. I forgot. Okay, yeah, that's mine too. I can't with that. I've dealt with that once. It's really scary. I'm Deep. scared of like paranormal stuff too. Oh. So like, I'll immediately like think like, oh my gosh, there's a ghost. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you guys, when you guys get sleep paralysis, is it like just, oh, I can't move. That's it? Mm. Or is it like the... Like I hear the, people like, see things. I have or like whatever. bad thoughts and like just scary thoughts and like monsters and like I feel yep. like I remember this one time I had um, the most recent time that I had it, I felt like I heard a scream and I mm. thought like my leg was being pulled. <gasps> and like I was telling myself, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh. So yeah. Okay, yeah, that's me every single time I get sleep paralysis. Mm. Every single time. It you, sucks. You get night terrors? I get, it's not night terrors, because night terrors is like you're actually dreaming. Yeah, like scream. Yeah, mm. but like this is like, I wake up and then I realize I'm in sleep paralysis. And then every time, if I I close my eyes, then this face starts to like emerge. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. room starts shaking and then the scream starts yeah, coming. Yeah. And it's terrifying. So like every time I get it, I try to like just keep my eyes open and it sucks because I'm sleepy, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's, uh, that's so do you get it often? Thing? Um, if I get it, it comes in like phases. So if I'm currently getting it, I'm probably getting it more often than usual. But as of now, it hasn't. It's been a while, so mm. thankfully. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah that's never, like, so scary. I know. I've never like really had it. I've just I've just heard stories about it mm. from other people. So I hope I never do. <laughs> <laughs> um, biggest fears for me are spiders, mm. for sure. Like, I will hold a snake, I will like, you know, like jump off a cliff, but I will not touch a spider. <laughs> like, I, for the life, when me and Doe moved in together the first uh -huh. night, there was a spider on the wall and we were just screaming for 30 minutes. <laughs> I know there's a spider right now, but like, oh. but still. Um, yeah, that's one of my biggest fears. Mm. And the other one for me is, um, being alone in any room or space or mm. anything. I, I don't know if that's agoraphobia or if it's just like scared of being alone, being home alone. Mm. Um, like I just, when you hear things, you're like, oh, I'm the only one like here. <laughs> and then your mind just starts racing. Or I sometimes see. when we're closing up the studio and I'm by myself, I like kind of jog <laughs> outside because yeah. I'm freaking out. Yeah, and then it gets dark, right? Yeah. Like walking through one of the rooms <coughs> with the, with the lights off, especially if, if the light switch is on the other side uh. to go over there, it's scary. And our light switches are yeah, all over the place. Are all over the place. <laughs> you, you have to walk in the dark, and it's just you know, it's not the business. Yeah, I'm scared of like. I mean, now that you guys, I'm scared of a lot of things. Too. <laughs> I'm actually scared of like paranormal stuff. Like yeah. like, you know, I can take gore, gory movies, mm. like whatever Saw. I can take it, That's but true. like paranormal activity or like things that are supernatural. Of, yeah, supernatural. Like I I can't only because I lightweight believe in it okay. in a little bit. So like. And then also I get bad dreams and I have really pretty like Im like wild imagination. Mm -hmm. So then after watching those movies and I'm like I'm I'm home and I'm alone, my my mind just thinks like, you know, what's that one movie Grudge? Like every oh, single yeah. mundane activity they they <laughs> put it in that movie and I was oh, like yeah. I can't even take a shower. You know, like, <laughs> like, That's true. Like, That's true. Every yeah. scene is like just scary to me. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm pretty scared of that too. Has anything paranormal happened to you? Um, I mean, <laughs> yes. Luckily, I wasn't alone. <laughs> um, it's it's good that I I always have either like, I think it's always with my family. But um, yeah, some we always hear things at our house back when it was older, mm -hmm. when it was like before we renovated it. Um, Here. Yes, in San Jose, and it was crazy. Like we heard. <coughs> We would just hear like really loud noise. Uh, this was one time where we heard a really loud noise, like three knocks, and it sounded like it was everywhere. Like it was like the windows, the ceilings, what? the floors. It was like three loud knocks, it just three, like hella random. And then we were like, what the, you know? <laughs> we were like, what the F was that? And then one time the doors start, cause you know when you guys have 
uh, wind chimes outside. So mm -hmm. we had a wind chime, and then one time we had a sleepover. And then I, I woke up and I was like, I hear wind chimes, you know? That means our door was open. So I was like, oh my oh. gosh, do you know what I like mean? Like it wasn't so the wind? God. Yeah. It was because it's connected to the door kind of thing? Yeah. So then, because the door was open. So I woke up my cousin and I was like, I was like, hey, the door's open. Like our, the front door's open. And I was like, oh my gosh, do you know oh what I mean? Gosh. What? Like, yeah. Actually, a lot of like things like that happened to me, like in the night, like something would fall and I'm like, oh my God, ghost, you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially if, if you can't es explain why it happened. Yeah. For example, like something fell off a, a shelf in a closet and it's like a crate and all of a sudden it fell and then it's mm. like, there's no way that could have fallen. Yeah, you know what by I mean? itself. And then I would think about it for help, like for a really long time and I think my friend was like oh there was an earthquake last night and i was like okay i believe that <laughs> as long as like i have like a logical like, reason I, I can like survive you know mm -hmm. but i realize i'm really scared of that stuff now <laughs> fear of the unknown unknown oh, yeah. i know okay well <laughs> oh, well, oh. Did you know, like, yeah i was gonna okay, say go, go, go. <laughs> space i love space mm. but the thought oh. of just being alone in vast nothingness oh, scary did you watch gravity Yes. That movie's about very racist. That's true, yeah. It's scary. Did you watch Interstellar? No. <laughs> Dude, that's modern classic. Speaking of movies, what's the scariest movie you guys watch? Mm. I mean, I kind of said mine. Mine's already like paranormal activity. Ooh, I have one. I think it's called Darkness Falls. It's kind of an older <gasps> movie. It's based off the Tooth Fairy. Mm. And basically, uh, if you see the Tooth Fairy when she comes to get your tooth, she'll get you. She'll, she'll get you. But the only she can only uh, exist in darkness. So this guy gets traumatized and he lives his whole life like around like lights and like he has light bulbs all over his apartment and stuff. Uh -huh. But it freaked me out because <laughs> I couldn't go anywhere that was dark. <laughs> yeah. you know? I can like shower, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't really watch scary movies. I just can't. <laughs> so whenever like my friends force me to go watch a scary movie, I just go to Wikipedia really quick, read the whole synopsis, yeah, see what that's happens. What I do. I'm like, okay, Lori, Hall or what's her name? Halloween. I did that for Halloween recently, and I was like, okay, she lives, and everyone lives. Oh, uh, kind of well, thanks for spoiling yeah. it for people. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Ten seconds ago. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I do. It's just to like, it helps me get through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, what about you, Kim? Um, have you guys watched Sinister? Mm -mm. I've heard of it. No. Yes, yeah. it's hecka scary. I I why I do I watch these movies knowing mm -hmm. that I, I'm I'm gonna be scared? <laughs> you know, I never even like finished that movie because like a couple of the scenes that were in that movie, like I think the first scene is like of a forest, a really dark forest, and it's a big old tree, and then you just see four people in nooses, mm. and then it's like everything is silent, right? And then you just see the four family like just get pushed or like fall by some unknown entity. And then after that, I think the whole movie is just about like these families who have things happen to them with no explanation. Like they just end up being mutilated or whatever. <laughs> but like I remember there was, there was a couple of scenes where I was just like, I, I couldn't even finish the movie. I was just like, I was, it was too jarring for me. Yeah. And that's like yeah. a movie that I want to finish, but I'm just too scared <laughs> it's that scary that you didn't finish the movie that's yeah, crazy. yeah. was it in theaters or no oh, uh, so, okay. like, i was hanging out with friends I was, I was hanging out with friends and we had a movie night and they put that one on right and i was just like uh, yeah guys <laughs> can't do it yeah i don't know why i agree to watch scary movies I know. knowing I'm, that i yeah. it's an environmental thing though because yeah. i feel like theaters is like oh you're immersed mm -hmm. in the that's experience yeah. but if you're oh, like at yeah. home and it can be like almost background noise yeah. then i think it's bearable i feel like it's one of those things where it's fun to watch with friends because right. even though i'm scared like i like watching with friends r rather than being by myself because like if another person is more scared than i am then like it helps build a little oh, bit more you know yeah. <laughs> courage yeah. to watch it because like true, this true. other person is like hella scared so i'm like oh i'm not too I'm not scared that's true yeah yeah for sure and i mean so yeah we're scared <laughs> of a lot of things <laughs> and movies and stuff but you know what else is scary sometimes going on stage <laughs> and dancing mm. and it's scary to even jump in and stuff so we're gonna kind of transition into talking about our our fears related to dance in mm. general so um like yeah let's open floor what what do you guys are what are you guys pretty much scared of in relation to dance um as a whole anything um 
<laughs> dancing can be really scary mm-hmm. in general. You know what I mean? Like because, I, well, uh, it depends. I, I guess I think it's always scary when there, you do it in front of people. You know, and I think there's just everyone can relate that there's that fear of like being judged. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Especially if it gets too caught up in your head, then like you actually then you're afraid to mess up (laughs) so not just being in front of people but being afraid to mess up um and like blinking out or whatever that's pretty scary i think oh yeah i think for me the one of the scariest things is well is back in the day when your director would say cypher and then it's like oh no we gotta freestyle like oh my god it's like one of my biggest fears Mm -hmm. ever still to this day to be honest i'm super scared to freestyle but i understand how it's how important it is in your dance journey to understand your style and Mm -hmm. everything but it's like you're scared to be put on like be alone on stage yeah i think it was more it's more like there's like there's no right answer Mm -hmm. and i'm like I'm scared of like what's the word the un undecided or what is the word um, undecisive yeah like it's just there's nothing decided so it's like oh, mm-hmm. what is the right answer and there is none there's no, no clear mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. one plus one is two so you have yeah. to just kind of go with it and I'm like oh god what do I do what do I do uh-huh. I'm in like this vast like sea of movement and I'm just like I don't know what to oh, do oh it's about. an uncomfortable yeah feeling. I know what you're what you mean so, being like put on the spot yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can get, I can get through it but it's still like I, I there's no getting over that fear yeah i think it's just always uncomfortable i feel Mm -hmm. like some people just learn how to like right (laughs) i don't think you ever lose that feeling i agree you just get better at um managing (laughs) managing it yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) um another crazy thing is like when you're injured i think or getting injured during dance sometimes it's like okay you you know how like you do so many different types of movement Mm -hmm. so it's like what do you tell your doctor it's like oh i was doing a uh, doctor, I was doing a pot de bray, and like, <laughs> something happened. <laughs> like, and it's like, it's Damn, like that's so, true. They're like, what is that? And it's like, mm-hmm. how did they even diagnose like what happened to your hip or your knee or whatever? Because mm-hmm. it's like so many things can happen to it. How hard are you doing your pot de brays? Gotta <laughs> 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 go hundred, go all out, man. No, but yeah, injuries are just scary right now. Um, I'm going through one right now. I don't know what happened to my knee, oh. but <laughs> um, hopefully it gets better soon. Dang. Yeah, because I don't really know what happened. We were doing just some ratchet movement. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm Has just kidding. Your knee hurts? Yeah, my knee hurts. Just kidding. And it's been hurting for like, and then, Dang. okay, the, obviously the first thing I do is go on a hike in Hawaii. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's the first thing I do when my knees hurt. But yeah, um, anything for you, Kim? Like anything that's scary? Really oh, good. man. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think for me, whenever it came, came, with, came to dance, like being having to perform in front of people, especially people I knew, mm-hmm. and having those expectations of like, okay, you learn this piece, you should be able to execute it really well, right? Um, that's always been a fear, um, especially when you're out in class, right? Because I mean, retention can be hard. You have your, you've got so many thoughts in your mind, like, am I doing this right? Am I doing that right? And like being called out in groups. So I used to like hide myself because you know like the choreographer is gonna be like you go you go you go and like at least when you're in class and you have like a bit you have a huge amount of people right you can kind of like focus on yourself and like hide behind people and watch other people do it whereas like when you're picked out what there's like five people and there's no room to like kind of escape that moment of spotlight and so for me that was a huge struggle because it was just like I'm still uncomfortable with the way I move and how I how I see myself and what more when like the spotlight is on you and you've got a bunch of people in front of you watching you. Mm-hmm. So that's always been a fear of mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we can all agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been there before. We've all had those <laughs> I don't think no matter how good you get, you're always going to have that feeling because if anything, mm-hmm. there's always pressure to do well, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No matter how good you are. Or to yeah. like exceed. Mm-hmm expectations yeah. right yeah. and it's not even sometimes just for other people sometimes it's just for yourself for your, yeah. it's like i want to i want to be able to kill this and i want to mm-hmm. do this for me and then mm-hmm. when you mess up it's like oh that's i failed feeling. myself <laughs> like, it's yeah. like that's a big fear is yeah. failure i think you know? initially um there's just a thought of starting to dance is pretty scary mm-hmm. i mm-hmm. think you know if i if i throw it back and think about when i was younger and like you know i want to i want to start dancing i want to start 
this whole thing <laughs> you know diving into this whole thing um that thought's pretty scary because it's like it's that fear of unknown like okay like what does that mean like i have to go to a class like i have to go to a workshop mm-hmm. i have to audition audition is pretty auditioning is pretty scary mm-hmm. um i think that that initial thought of start like wanting to dance and like actually trying to start it if that makes sense mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I mean, everyone has to like hop over that fear, and then exactly. then you're in it, and then mm-hmm. you're just scared forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Then you figure out that like, oh, it's not that bad, and then you you mm-hmm. you face other other fears, fears. On the, yeah. along the way and I stuff. I know. See, like all these fears are drawing from like experiences that we yeah. had, and so I do want to start sharing some of those experiences in our new segment called Scary Dance Stories. Okay, so there was this one time we were performing. It was me um, with Chocolate Factory and Gobstoppers. And pretty much um, we were off stage at one point, And one of my Gobstoppers, she was like 10 years old and stuff. And she was just crying her <laughs> eyes out in the corner. And I was like, wait, what's wrong? What's wrong? We have to go on stage and like an eight count. And she's like, I messed up. I came in too early. And I was like, go, go, go. <laughs> and then we just like, we were just trying to like, make our mark and I was like oh my god and then throughout the whole rest of the thing I was like oh my god I just pushed like a crying girl like on stage like it was crazy yeah she, I don't I think she was 10 at the time yeah mm-hmm. but I was like oh my god and it's the scariest thing because I'm like okay like what do I do what do you do in that situation it's like uh so yeah that's what happened to me another story was like um <laughs> there was a time when um one of, it was recent, one of my members didn't have their jacket on. And I was like <laughs> screaming at them during the performance. I was like, why don't you have your jacket on? <laughs> He's like, I don't have to do it for two minutes. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then I go on stage. <laughs> or I do my stage change or something. Yeah, it was crazy. So that's my stories. Um, who's next? That was not- Sounds like you're stressed. Yeah. <laughs> They're, stressed. Yeah. They're, stressed. They're stressful. <laughs> and that's one of those scary, scary things. Yeah. Okay, who else? Who's next? Not me. I can go. Go, go, go. Oh, man, this is bright. Yeah, it's pointed <laughs> at your mouth. <laughs> um, I think kind of touching back with what we talked about earlier, um, getting injured, I think uh, being not able to dance is, like, a super, like, terrifying feeling. Uh-huh. Like, no longer, you know? Uh-huh. And mm. I, I have a bad back, so... Um, <laughs> It's been a handful of times where, like, I've injured it, like, during rehearsal and stuff. And, like, we're getting ready for, like, a competition or, like, a very important show. And I'm like, damn, like, this is hap- like, this can't be happening, like, right now, you know? Uh, yeah. So uh, I think, yeah, just the fear of... It, like, opens your mind because, like, oh, like, what if I don't heal this time or, like, properly, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's happened a couple times for me. And then, uh, but one time, uh, this is not related to my back at all, but I hit something else. <laughs> um, it was uh, my first time competing at Body Rock. Ooh. First time ever. And like, I'm like, this is the stage, you know, mm-hmm. right? Uh, it was with company. And then uh, there's this floor thing that I had to do. And so um, I had to like catch myself with my hands, like, literally oh, just catch oh, myself oh after my like gosh. I do like a spin and then I catch myself right oh, okay. uh, but then I was pra- this is right before we go on stage so we're all practicing like in the hold or the on deck or whatever and then um, I practice that because you know mm-hmm. you're about to go on stage <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and then I catch myself but then my thumb dislocates <gasps> out of its socket oh, for yeah. a split second and then I'm like this can't be no. happening right now, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> and no. so because like all this stuff was happening, like my emotions got to me, like I started bawling. Oh. Yeah, like uh, I'm about to hit the stage with my dream team, like the most important stage of my life, like in the moment, right? At this moment. Mm-hmm. And like uh, all the emotions just got to me. And so I was, I'm, I'm that 10 year old girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, but where was I going with this? It's scary. Yeah, like messing up. Not being able to like do your best and like perform on stage mm-hmm. when it like that's matters scary. most is like pretty terrifying. And that's like physical, so it's pretty it's painful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And all right. <laughs> next. I know. That was scary. I can go next. Um. Okay. 
<laughs> just testing it. Um, let's see. I think. Um, I mean, I, I have a handful of what like moments that terrified me, but I think um, one that I wanted to share is when I think when I was still dancing in a team, um, we you know we all have our parts right we all have our parts but then for a certain performance i think we did more than one that season one of the other members couldn't perform so i was tasked with the the task (laughs) to um pretty much do their part and i think yeah and i think um you know which is which is fine i don't know what happened what the reason was but i was tasked to do it and Mm -hmm. i don't know how long it was pretty short it was like, I think I had, like, maybe a few weeks at most to, like, get their part, to learn their part down on top of learning my part. <laughs> and then also, like, you know, get it ready for stage, pretty much. So I think, you know, it was scary because um, I was just like, man, I don't know if I can handle, like like like, all this information being thrown at me and being ready to, like, perform or compete, you know, and mm-hmm. doing someone else's part and being able to do it well like not to just be like oh it's pretty good for someone learning it for two weeks like i wanted to do it as if Mm -hmm. it was my part you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. so that was kind of scary because i'm like you know what if i can't do it like (laughs) (laughs) like literally like you know the team's gonna count on me and like this person that couldn't couldn't perform is is counting on me so it's kind of like it was a really kind of like a flighter fight type of thing like okay what am I gonna do like mm-hmm. I can't I can't back down you know I have to I have to do it so that's that's mm-hmm. it you just gotta run through it you know so it's it's, it's just that um t- like pressure I think in a short amount of time learning un- someone else's part um and having to like do it well you know better than like as if you just learned it for <laughs> <laughs> right. like really quick oh, yeah. so that's that's like I think scary because like especially when you're about to perform it's like you have all these thoughts um <laughs> you're like okay what was it again what was on eight and I would literally that's what I was doing I'd be like what was this part again like you know my mirrors <laughs> I'll be uh-huh. like just to clarify what was yeah. it again because you know um I just had to double check you know like like because if I mess up anything can happen <laughs> to the end of the world just kidding it's not the end of the world but still um it feels as though as if right. it's the yeah. end of the world um yeah so that's that's one of my stories i do relate to the injury thing i think it's more so like oh god like if i make one more wrong move like this is it <laughs> like this <laughs> is over. it like i i, I can't i'm benched forever <laughs> you know what I mean? so that's a pretty scary thought like um yeah and so i would kind of like tread slowly and not be like not do something full out or like i'd stretch for hella long or i sit right away type of thing i'm like i don't i don't want to like break anything mm-hmm. anymore but yeah that's, those are my stories <laughs> take care of your turn. bodies people <laughs> yes, please. yes um hmm. okay one quick story that i can remember um you remember the warrior set? Yeah. The warrior set, right? Yeah. We had those tables. Oh, dude! Oh my god. I remember. I don't remember if it was on tech or it was maybe tech. it was probably tech. Um, I don't remember if I was in front or behind someone, but I know like some of our teammates had to dance on tables, right? And someone didn't put the table all the way. They didn't lock it, and so out of the corner of my eye, I I hear and I kind of see the table like kind of slip as one of our, you oh. know, um, teammates was on it. And I was just like, oh, like, are they going to be able to, like, catch themselves or is someone going to get yeah, injured right that now? Was, that was just, I remember this. Yeah, it was yeah, during yeah. Tech. yeah, But they caught themselves. So, like, they were, like, surfing down the yeah, table. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was during Tech. This was good. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. That's what Tech's for, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. then, ugh, you know, having that thought. And that like, could have happened. And then performing and be like, you know, like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> like, you're not going to be as confident <laughs> exactly, going into it Exactly, because it as happened were. already, yeah. so oh, yeah. then it could happen oh, again. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's so, pretty scary. That's... Yeah, can you imagine, like, especially with those props that we had? Anything <laughs> oh, breaking down? Those, those, are, like one those of these things tables? are, like, heavy. Yeah. It, was it was one of these tables. Yeah, it was like one of those the, tables. The plastic, not Jeez. plastic tables, <laughs> whatever you call them. Like you know, plastic. standard tables. Yeah. Yeah. We do crazy yeah. things as dancers <laughs> <laughs> just to I know. put on a good show. Yeah, But, yeah. I'm trying to think personally... Okay, so I remember when we guys had, I think it was called, it was like a training team that Gino had, 
um, way back when after you guys left Chocolate Factory for a quick minute. I think it was called Overtime or whatever. Oh. And then so um, for training, we would just like do pieces <coughs> and then he would take us into like a small room. He would call us in to a small room to just like perform oh in front God. of them. And at that time, like I had taken a huge break from dance and I'd never really been a part of the team. Um, for a while and so it was hard to kind of get back into the groove of things and you know like being in front of people like the choreographer like imagine like a four four panel um team and it's just like you and them and you're not you don't even have the mirrors you're just like performing in front of them Jesus. and so like i told you guys before like confidence the cool confidence thing was um huge for me and so i i remember going into it and um i think chris alconis has had to talk with me like a um like at one of these hangouts and he was telling me he was just like and you just gotta be more confident like you're good you can do it yada yada and so in my mind I was just like yeah I'm good I got this you know <laughs> I had practiced for so long and so they finally like called me into the room right and it's like a panel of four like you know um, the two coaches so Chris was there Gino was there and then um, the two choreographers and they're like okay Kim you ready because it was like a one take and that's it you know if you mess up you're done. Oh, no. You're axed. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, like, I mean, it's training, right? Yeah, you yeah. just have to get used to it. Right. Like, they would give you constructive criticism, but, like, you only had one take to do it. You had one shot to make it. So I remember going in, and I was like, okay, I have, I've got this. Chris, like, gives me that look. He's just like, you got this, you got this, right? And I'm like, okay, okay, I got this. And so the music starts. I think I get maybe one eight count in, and I just freeze. No. And I try to catch myself, right? You know, I'm like looking, like I'm like trying to search, like looking at the judges to see, oh, well, not the judges, but like, you know, yeah. um, the four of them, I'm like trying to search, like, okay, I, I think I can like keep going, but I couldn't, like I just froze. And I was so disappointed in myself. Like I remember looking at Chris and Chris was just like. <laughs> Dang, yeah. you did that? Yeah, and so, and so it was just, Cause like he he like even before that he was like he was like you remember that talk him like right before I was about to perform he was like yeah I got this I got this and so they were just like cut the music and then they had this whole spiel of like okay Kim like, oh. you know like the whole like um, constructive criticism but like at that point in time like I just I couldn't hold it together and yeah. I like I started like bawling or crying because oh. it was just like you know I thought I had it. And like to have these people have like these expectations for me as well, like it was scary. It was a yep. scary moment for me. So, yeah. God. <sighs> Blanking is so scary. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. especially making, when it matters the most. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? It's, it's the most annoying thing when you blank on stage. It's like I practiced oh, this thing for like four months. Yeah. <laughs> like how on earth am I still blanking? Mm. It is crazy. It's worse than messing up. Yep. Or like, like what you said earlier about like literally just blanking, mm -hmm. and like you can't pick yourself back up mm -hmm. like what do you do you're paralyzed you're paralyzed <laughs> yeah i know and that was scary, scary stories dance stories <laughs> <laughs> so yeah like it like i said we're we're drawing from a lot of experience mm -hmm. and stuff and it just never goes away but again it really is just about how you manage the fears that come with dance and stuff mm -hmm. and you get better at that we definitely talked about it um during the our beginner's guide podcast um mm -hmm. about getting over that fear so if you guys haven't seen that check that out um it's a good one um but Back by popular demand we're gonna mm -hmm. move into our final <laughs> um final um section called Game time! <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be a quick one. Um, so what do you got? <laughs> so much smoke. <laughs> we're gonna, um, we're gonna do a quick little game of Would You Rather. Um, so I pretty much put together a couple of scenarios of dance scenarios, and we're just gonna talk about like which um. Would you rather happen to you? Yeah, okay. they're all kind of, I mean, we, it's kind of harkening back to some of our experiences, so maybe okay. we have some PTSD with that. Oh, <laughs> but no. at the end of the day, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, so would you rather, first question, would you rather fall on your face on stage or rip your hand, pants halfway through the set? <laughs> And it's a, it's a rip where people set. can like see your thing. Mm. Uh, see they, everything. Not okay. your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> not your thing. Uh, mm. See the rip. Yeah, see the rip. I'd rather rip my pants. I'd rather rip my pants. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Falling is so much more 
first of all, painful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <not> yeah. Painful. <laughs> and you, I feel like you'd be able to notice it more. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes people have like outfit mal- malfunctions, and you don't. Yeah. Re- some people don't realize it till after mm-hmm. when they watch the video oh, or something. True. Like you can always just blend in. Yeah. yeah. With your movement, and it's hard to recover from something like that. Cause yeah. I imagine if you like fall flat on your face, are we talking about like? <laughs> oh, like, like, actual, like on your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> or like a quick like trip where you can. Yeah, like, that's fall like, on your face. Yeah, okay, like, fall on your face. face. Yeah, probably the wall drip. I um, think like okay, like one of my sets like. Oh gosh! <laughs> See, this is another oh, fear. You, <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you laughing at? You know, are you thinking of the same one? <laughs> what are you laughing at? No, go, 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 go ahead. Is it the same story? It might be. Um, no, I mean another fear is yeah, literally like if you're in a, <laughs> I mean if you're in a set that has like partner dancing and lifts, dude, that's scary. Um, <laughs> like yeah. you know, let's like trust. Yep. That's like a, you gotta trust your partner, you know, and like. I've never had problem with trusting people, but like I don't know, um, like <laughs> definitely during practice, like I've I didn't fall, but we messed up, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like you know what I mean? We practiced this for four months, and something <coughs> happened, maybe the stage dimension, so it was always like mess us up, like you know, like something happens and. Was it during the set? I feel like it happened during the set, like actually performing. Yes, yeah, so I've fallen once. <laughs> um, you and then to tech, like I hella tripped and fall during tech. Good thing it was tech. Oh, it was wait. a bad fall. That's what I was like thinking. it was hecka noticeable. Like you can't just blend in. And like I, I think if we have, we probably have the tech video, the and tech you can like. Show it. Oh my god! Did you see it happen? No, I remember it? seeing it in the, the video, video oh, okay. but not during like when stage. it happened. Oh, okay, because I was on the other. Yeah, I'd rather stage. bet my pants because like you yeah. can totally mm-hmm. just get agree. Up. Yeah, <laughs> or not, get not up, even <laughs> get noticed. Yeah. What if your pants fell off? Oh, oh that's <laughs> <laughs> that's why I wear a belt. <laughs> yeah, you right. True, true. So we'd rather rip our pants. Mm-hmm. All right. Next question. So, would you rather, when you meet your dance hero, find out that they're a really bad teacher, or that they have a bad personality? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I rather. Trying to think about my experiences. <clears throat> we won't name drop in? today. <laughs> so, so dance but. favorite and find out would I rather them be a bad teacher or a bad person? I feel like I'd rather have them be a bad teacher, you know, because I feel like you can grow from that. No? Right. Because if they have a bad personality, it's just like, that's it, done. Like, I can't yeah. look at you the same way. Mm-hmm. You know? That's true. I agree. Right? It like sours mm-hmm. it. I know. That's why, like, I would never want to meet. Um, any of my favorite dancers, or like, or uh, maybe celebrities. Mm. Maybe not dancers, but like celebrities. You want to keep like, the wall there? Yeah, I, I like. I never want to meet Beyonce, like ever. Mm. You know, I love her, oh, death, but yeah. I want to keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. so. Have but, you guys seen that video of um, these two dancing brothers mm-hmm. and them teaching? And like, it's just so out there that the class couldn't get it, but they just kept pushing through. You know uh, what I'm talking about, I right? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes. You just see all the students behind them like, okay, I'm going to give it my I, all. And yeah. they're just pushing through. I was just like, okay. I mean, like, I'll take that over. Bad personality. I yeah. agree. Yeah. I totally agree. I mean, at that point, you wouldn't be my favorite. <laughs> Not true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. If the personality or teacher? Personality. Personality. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to be a teacher. You know, it's, it's one thing being easy. a good like you dancer, but like dancer yeah, yeah, yeah. You can always get like, takes time. Teacher, yeah. True. Being a choreographer is, doesn't mean you're bad dancer. Mm. I mean, no. or, <laughs> good teacher. <laughs> no, <not being>. good <laughs> teacher. <laughs> choreographer, dancer, and an instructor are three different things. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, totally, that makes totally. Sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just remember, kids. Like, <laughs> who are you without dance? Are you still a good person? Mm. <laughs> Uh-huh. Coming from Steven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number three. Um, would you rather be a famous dancer that makes no money or a rich dancer that absolutely no one knows? This is like not realistic. Is that, is that yeah, something like it? Yeah. If, if you're rich, then how did you get rich? And if you're famous, then you for sure making money. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're like so a, theoretically, right? Okay, like so theoretically. So anyways, theoretically. Uh, would I, I'm neither, so I don't know. Would I want fame or money? <laughs> money. I would want Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. I'd agree. I'd rather be a rich dancer that nobody knows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like it's hard to be a celebrity as well. Oh, for sure. Because then everyone's going to be <gasps> everyone's watching attack. you. 
Like, what if you're just like making choreography for people and that's how you make money? Yeah. Like your studio pieces. Like a songwriter. Too. Yeah. Not all like artists, like producers, and like mm-hmm. things. That's I think that's what I was aiming at. But yeah, I'd rather be rich. Then I mean, <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Like, I mean, because I think I can think of fame in a perspective where, like you're like like you have a legacy type of thing mm. That's um true. you know like let's say you're famous for um inventing this new style you know that type of famous not just like oh. like a name but you left the legacy so that's kind of a what's i'm indecisive about this actually one. <laughs> yeah now that you bring that up it's like you being famous means you have an influence also mm-hmm. meaning exactly. like that you can positively influence mm. the community so, I think we all just sold our souls <laughs> for money. <laughs> money. Well, I mean, money has influence too, like, unfortunately, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. But I mean, it does, right? Mm. And I feel like with that, like, even though you might not be well known in this scenario, like, you s- there's other ways to be in- to, to, influence. to influence. Yeah. yeah. Got it. So. That was an interesting one. Yeah. Um, so, question number four. Would you rather accidentally get on stage hella late or accidentally stay on stage for way too long? <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to stick out regardless. Stay on stage for way too long. I think the second like one, because I think if you come in too early, it's way noticeable because like you're by yourself almost yeah. mm-hmm. rather than you could always leave at a time where everyone, other people leave. You know what I mean? <laughs> and not just yourself. Mm. Yeah. Just like, just yeah. make sure you you hope that you know this part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep going yeah. and leave. It's like sure. it's a solo. It's a solo. Right, just like party yeah. off or something. Like yeah. I mean, you can do that coming on or off. <laughs> yeah. so true. I mean, there was one time a couple of my friends. I think it was the same performance as mm-hmm. my my scary story one, uh-huh. but they couldn't make the run around in time, and so they just came on doing the choreo, but just like walking nice. on stage. I mean, it worked out kind yeah. of, but yeah, they pulled it off. Yeah. I would be the the latter because Stay on yeah, like I said, I think you can just blend out, Impro- improvise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if you're like rushing on stage because yeah. you're late, or no, I mean thinking Early. that like you're yeah. it's oh, your yeah. shopping cart time. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's pretty noticeable. Yeah, <laughs> reminds me of a recent event. Oh really? Oh shush. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> that totally happened to us. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> All right, last question. Okay, would you rather perform without being able to hear or perform Ooh. with really blurry vision? Oof. Oh, gosh. Second one, because I've done it before. I'm pretty, <laughs> di- really? I'm pretty blind. Yeah, actually, that was my like trick before. I was like, all right, I don't want to see the, the audio. I mean, I'm not blind. I can see like shapes maybe you know but um <laughs> so that i don't get scared seeing the <laughs> audience I'm, like, All right, I'm not gonna, gonna wear my contacts or glasses so i can just dance <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. i feel That's like me. i'm the opposite you'd rather not hear i'd rather not hear because then i can get that pattern or the rhythm in my mm-hmm. head in my body and i can use other people as references yeah. mm. true and I'm, I'm blind so like <laughs> i literally can't i'll fall off stage or something <laughs> I try to do that. Yeah. Oh my god! Wasn't in ABDC there was someone who there was a guy that was deaf. That, I don't was know, deaf but deaf, was... like or like, what's the word? Part of disabilities oh, yeah. are mm-hmm. all on a spectrum. Yeah, so true. I don't know how. So I don't. I don't even know how. Not able to hear you are, <laughs> but just whatever <laughs> you can yeah, interpret yeah, yeah. it um, mm-hmm. the way that you want. Yeah, I'd probably go for the hearing. You'd rather not hear. Yeah, I'd rather not hear. Yeah. What about you, Kevin? I think I'd rather not. C. C. Like that it's mm. really blurry. Um, oh, really? Yeah, that's blurry. Yeah. But what if you have like a set where like everything's like really close and spacious and people are coming at you? Like, I, I don't know how you're going to be able yeah. to. Like, I think we've, <laughs> we've been blind enough to do that. Like, I think hopefully, yeah, I think, okay. um, I think I trust other people enough to like move where they need to move. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's <laughs> both a 50 50. Like, as long as you're staying in your lane. You know, like traffic. We work out traffic. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That's true. <laughs> I need music, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I need to hear. That's like. true. That's hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. It's hard. I know. I wonder how much of a bass you can feel if you can't hear the music. Right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm curious. Because, like, obviously it's, like, booming. Mm-hmm. So, like, you'll feel something. Boom. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. But, anyway, that just about wraps it up <laughs> for today's uh, Between Us Foos episode. We're going to be, again, releasing these every other Monday, and we are also now currently on Spotify! Yay! Yay! Spotify! 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 Yay! Spotify!
got it. That's true. You can put an asterisk if that's not true yet. But, <laughs> but yeah, super excited. So if you guys want to start following following us, definitely check us out there. Um, <laughs> um, but also, also too, if like if you guys have any um, your choices, any thoughts on any things that would you rather, any scary stories, please leave it in the comments. But until then, or. I don't know. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for thanks for tuning in. Between us, booze. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Happy Halloween.